Hi guys, welcome to another Total Technic video. Uh, today we're going to show you how to remove the, uh, the glove box from the Audi A4, S4 and RS4, uh, B6 and B7 models, uh, 2001 through 2008. They all have uh, this same type of uh, glove box. Uh, now there's only uh, five bolts that hold this in place. Uh, you can see this one actually had the optional extra uh, CD changer which I've removed. Not many have this option. Uh, I have done a video for uh, removing this if yours does and I will add a link to that on the information section on the bottom of this video on YouTube. So if yours does have the uh, CD changer uh, you can uh, go and follow that link and get that removed. Uh, but I'll show you quickly now how to remove the, uh, the main glove box itself. Now uh, what I like to do is when I drop these uh, the glove box down is uh, to remove your uh, your passenger seat as uh, far back as it will go. Unfortunately I've got no uh, power on this one at the moment. I'm working in a limited space. Uh, but move back your uh, move your uh, passenger seat back as far as you can so you've got a nice amount of space to work in. If you just put a blanket down here on the floor as well, just in case you've got any little stones or whatever, you don't really don't want to scratch your uh, your glove box as well. So if you put a blanket down there and you've got something to lower it down onto uh, when we get it removed. Okay, so looking at the uh, the top of the uh, the glove box, as I mentioned before, there are five bolts that actually hold this in. They're all size eight. Okay, if you look underneath the uh, the top lip here, you can see that we've got these holes, and up inside those holes, you may not be able to quite see it, but up inside there, you may not be able to see it on the video. But in each of these is a size eight bolt. As you can see, there's three of these uh, along the uh, the top edge. Now, what you should do is remove the uh, the outer two first of all. But leave the uh, leave the middle one connected uh, just for the time being. Okay, so I've rem just removed the uh, the two outer screws uh, from the top of the uh, top edge of the uh, open glove box. Here, there is a third one in the middle. I'm going to leave that for the time being. Close that up, and I'm going to concentrate on the uh, the two that are underneath. Okay, so I've just removed uh, both of the, uh, the lower bolts. Uh, so I'm going to go back now to the, uh, to the top here. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, I left in the, uh, the center one purposefully. Now, one thing to, uh, to point out is if you, uh, if you don't have the, the um, CD changer uh, option, then it will be just these five that are holding it in. That will apply to probably 75% of the people watching this video. However, if you do have this uh, CD changer, they actually put a, an extra bolt in, uh, which is just there. If you look up under there, you may just be able to see that. Just on the end of my uh, finger, just there, they put an additional bolt there. So uh, we'll get that one removed, and then we'll uh, remove this final one, and the whole thing will be ready to drop down. Okay, so that's the uh, CD changer. Uh, fixing that you may or may not have depending on whether you have the CD changer. And it's just this main one here. As you can see as I'm doing this, I don't know whether it's be clear on the camera, you can see the whole thing moving with each each time that I turn it. Okay, so be careful not to drop the whole thing. That was ready to come out. As you can see the whole thing is ready to drop. So just support it as it comes down. down like so and we do have a, an electrical connector on the back that we uh, need to uh, disconnect uh, to allow us to remove this from the car. I'm going to try and move it forward a little bit and uh, like I said before uh, if you move your passenger seat all the way back uh, you can actually drop this straight straight down onto the floor. I can't quite do that, I haven't quite got enough space here uh, but hopefully you can see this electrical connector here. Uh, it's kind of a beigey brown colour, it's got the two little ears here. Pop that out like so. And that is literally everything you need to do to remove your glove box. 